the surface profile there are two profiles either it the water will be rising or the water will be falling is it so rising profile is otherwise known as backwater or the falling profile is known as a draw down curve backwater curve or draw down curve falling profile rising profile so uh, surface profile in mild slope we know the condition normal depth will be greater than the critical depth and they will have the m curves in three zones m1 m2 and m3 one represents a zone okay m1 m2 m3 so what is the m1 profile condition the water is flowing in the first zone so i have drawn like this you, uh, you have to be very clear for zone 1 and zone 3 will be rising okay increasing zone 2 will be decreasing that is a falling falling profile in zone 2 rising profile in in 1 and 3 so here as it is go, flowing in the zone 1 the water will be rising so your actual depth that is your y will be greater than ndl that is yn and also the greater than yc clear in zone 1 that is m1 profile condition is y is greater than yn again yc when it is useful is while solving the problem they ask you to find out what is the profile whether it is an m1 profile or as2 profile or as3 profile like that so uh, if you know the depth that is your normal depth critical depth and your actual depth if you know the three values and also the slope whether it is a mild slope or it is a slip slope you can easily find out what is the profile okay so here if it is m1 profile your actual depth will be greater than normal depth and also the critical depth if it is a m2 profile the water is going in between the normal depth line and critical depth line that is in zone 2 it is a falling so you have to draw like this so your yn is greater than y and which is greater than yc clear if it is an m3 profile m3 profile third profile third zone again it is rising but the depth actual depth is less than both the values yn is greater than yc which is again greater than y clear so uh, we can write we can write finally we can write the summary is draw the channel draw normal depth line critical depth line this is your m1 zone m2 zone m3 zone m1 is y is greater than yn and yc for m2 yn is greater than y and yc and for m3 yn is greater than yc which is again greater than y finally you can write zone 1 and zone 3 what is that m1 and m3 is a rising profile m2 is a falling profile clear next we can see about the steep slope 